Ready? Right one, what is it? Yeah, You're recording? Okay. Uh, uh, down, down, down a bit. Uh, a bit. There we go. Scene 8-1, take one. Action! Starting off the news this week, a collection of papers published in the Astrophysical Journal has revealed the most detailed observations of dark matter across the universe to date. Using data gathered from a now disassembled telescope in Chile, it has looked across the universe both physically and through time to produce a map that covers around a quarter of the sky and the full 13.7 billion years that the universe has existed for. Dark matter is one of those many exciting concepts in the universe that we know precious little about, and yet it has such a powerful effect on so much. Dark matter is especially hard to detect for a number of reasons, one being that you can't see its presence thanks to its luminosity, like much other matter, but instead is detected through gravitational influence. This gravitational influence is crucial for the continued stability of the universe's structure, so learning more about it is certainly no ineffectual goal. And in the paleontology news for this week, we first have the brilliant update to a story you may remember from last year. In mid-2022, a guest at a restaurant in Leshan City in China noticed something unusual in an outdoor courtyard, a series of large pits in the rock. Well, it turned out that they had recognised dinosaur footprints, and we now have a paper published describing these prints. It turns out they were made by a sauropod dinosaur, specifically an ichnotaxon, that is, the scientific name given to a trace fossil called Brontopodus. They date to the early Cretaceous and are quite typical of the sauropod fauna known to have lived at this place and time. It's a very nice conclusion to the story of the footprint's discovery then, and, as one of the paleontologists on the paper says, it just goes to show the amazing things that can happen when you stay curious about the geology and natural world around you. We've got more sauropod dinosaur news next, as a fantastic paper has just been published describing an almost complete fossil skull of a titanosaur from Australia. Now this is very exciting news, as sauropod skulls are notoriously rare due to how delicate they usually are, and this skull belongs to a species called Diamantinosaurus. It dates to the late Cretaceous and was uncovered in Queensland, and it is now the most complete skull belonging to this kind of titanosaur. Lots more anatomical features have been able to be described by paleontologists working on this specimen that were previously unknown, adding significantly to our knowledge and understanding of these massive dinosaurs. And finally for this week is the naming and description of a new kind of long-necked marine reptile. Called Crocilliculum latens, this animal is based on a fossil including a partial neck and a bit of the skull dating to the Middle Triassic of southwestern China. Looking at its evolutionary relationships, the paleontologists found that this new species is a member of the Tanistrophiids, the group including the well-known and ridiculously long-necked Tanistrophius. The neck of Grachili column contains at least 18 vertebrae, and certain features of these bones, as well as other characteristics of the fossil, have allowed the paleontologists to get a better understanding of how the Tanistrophiids evolved in relation to another, similar but different group of long-necked marine reptiles the dinocephalosaurids, which, it turns out, was a very complex process. And that's it from this week's 7 Days of Science. I do hope you enjoyed, and as always, we'll see you on Sunday. <laughs>